The INCB report for 2013 focuses on the economic and social costs of drug abuse, a very timely topic in a period of financial austerity. What can societies do to reduce the overall cost of drug abuse? Okay, well, in our report, we tried to highlight how the consequences of drug abuse can disproportionately affect spe specific populations, women, low-income populations, children, and so on. The right of children to be protected from drug abuse is enshrined in the Convention of the Rights of the Child. Society's most precious and most vulnerable resource set must be protected from drug abuse and its consequences. In our report, we show how investment in prevention, treatment, and uh, rehabilitation is a wise investment choice. Uh, as it can lead to significant savings in healthcare and crime related costs, as well as alleviate the suffering of drug dependent persons and their families. Could you give us some concrete numbers in terms of costs? Well, uh, for example, it has been shown that for every dollar spent on prevention, governments can save up to $10 in subsequent costs. Uh, however, it is estimated that for every six problem drug users worldwide, only one receives the treatment they need. There are also significant regional disparities. In Africa, uh, only one in 18 drug users receives treatment. In Latin America, the Caribbean and Eastern and Southeastern Europe, for example, the ratio is 1 in 11. In Northern America, 1 in 3. Actually, to result, to, to I would say, to, to reduce uh, overall consequences of drug abuse, we urge governments to implement uh, several uh, kinds of measures, uh, such as uh, prevention, treatment, rehabilitation and re reintegration, more efficient justice systems and alternatives to incarceration uh, with respect to the principle of proportionality. We note also that uh, weakened governance and drug trafficking and drug-related trafficking uh, can form a, a vicious circle and we recommend uh, several types of measures aimed at uh, strengthening governance.